Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make your UI dynamically resizable. So we'll have a little handle in the bottom corner of the interface that we can grab and just drag the uh, UI to make it larger or smaller. So we're going to start off just by, let's uh, make this full screen, we'll add a panel just as a background and we'll just make it the full size of the UI. And we'll just change these colors so we have a bit of a gradient. Just so we can see something. Okay, and the next thing we need to do is to include a script. We're not going to write the script. Uh, Christoph actually already wrote it. And I think I've modified it slightly, I can't remember, but I've got the script here. And this is the project folder for this project. It's just a blank project that I've put on my desktop here. And this is the name of the script, Zoom Handler. So we're going to include that. And I'll include this script along with the, um, the video. There'll be a link in the description where you can get it. We're getting an error, and that's because we need to add a control to the interface that will act as the little handle that the user can click on and uh, move around. And that's going to be a panel. And we'll add it, um, I was going to say we'll add it inside this panel. We should really add it as a, a top level control. So it's the last control in the list. And we'll rename this to PNL Zoom. I think that's the correct name for it. And if we hit compile and it doesn't give us an error, then we got it right. Yeah. Okay. So it's PNL Zoom. And here it is. And we're going to make it 10 by 10. So the width and height, 10 by 10. And we're going to move it down into the bottom corner of the UI. So currently it's up here in the top corner. We're going to move it right down to the bottom right corner. So it's down here. Do you see that? And it's actually had a paint routine applied by that Zoom Handler script. Okay, so we'll hit compile here. And uh, we'll just drag that across so we can see it. There it is. And let's just have a quick look at this Zoom Handler script. So here's the script. And there are some properties here we need to set. So we can see the interface width and the interface height. So we want to change these. And ours is 600 by 600. Uh, you can also change the minimum zoom and the max if you want to. I've set these the way I like them, but just adjust them. And the step size is how big the increments are for scaling in and out. And we'll see that shortly. Um, but you might want to reduce that if you want it to be kind of smoother, or you might want to increase it if you want it more stepped. I find 0.1 is a good value. And then there's some stuff. There's the paint routine. So zoom panel is our PNL zoom. And it has to have that name because that's what the script is expecting. Let's just uh, view that. So we can see there it's picking up PNL zoom there. Okay, and then it's doing the paint routine. And then it's got the mouse callback here for that zoom panel. So because it's got a mouse callback, that means we need to enable some mouse settings here. So we need to click on the panel and in the allow callbacks drop down, we need to select, I think clicks, hover and dragging is all that's needed. So we'll click that one. It might be all callbacks that we need, but I think that one should do it. And that's it. So we'll click compile and we can't actually demonstrate this in high. So if I open this, it's not going to do anything here. We have to compile it. So I'm going to quickly compile this as a standalone app and we can have a look at it in action. Okay, so the compilation's complete. Here's the standalone app. And let's see if it works. There we go. And you can see that sort of stepping. Hopefully you can see that, how it sort of steps between each uh, size. So that was that value I showed you. There we go. So that was, let's go back to it. So that was the zoom step value. So that determines the increments of uh, the zooming in and out. So if you wanted to be smoother, just reduce the value. But I'm quite happy with it at 0.1. Okay, I'll leave a link below this video where you can download that zoom handler script and you can modify it to suit your project. Thank you very much for watching. 
See you next time.